Hello students, uh, we have come to the last part of the mycology. We will be learning uh, the two uh, different fungi, the type studies today. One of them is uh, Agaricus and the other one is Fusarium. Agaricus uh, belongs to Basidiomycetes class and uh, Fusarium belongs to Deuteromycetes class. So these are the two important fungi which we are left with. Agaricus, uh, when you consider Agaricus, it is the uh, economically important uh, fungus where we produce, uh, of course, the mushroom for consumption, edible mushroom. Okay, and uh, Fusarium is said to be a deuteromyceous fungus, which is uh, present as a saprophyte uh, as well as it can act as a facultative parasite in the soil. It can also be infectious in plants. Okay, so we'll uh, conclude with these two different uh, fungi as a type study. So let me go with the preparation of uh, materials, what I have for the fungus. Let's start with um, agaricus, okay. So agaricus is said to be uh, uh, growing on wood, okay. You can find it in the fields, in the soil, in the open lawns, woods, you can find them growing. And also we cultivate it uh, on compost, uh, soil based uh, compost we cultivate this. I think we would see these mushrooms available in, uh, in, uh, in Bangalore and many places. We have this edible mushroom available. Okay. The other edible mushroom is Pleuritus. I think you know that. The other one is Pleuritus. And this is Agaricus, the button mushrooms, which grows on the soil also. Habitat, I come back to habitat, soil, field, lawns, etc. Classification, division, Emastrogomycota, subdivision, Basidiomycotina, class, Basidiomycetes, order, Agaricales, Family Agaricaceae, genus Agaricus, species Agaricus campestris, which is a very important uh, edible mushroom industrially used. Agaricus per se, then Agaricus regalis, and Agaricus cretaceous, the other species of Agaricus. So we'll go with the next step of study. Coming to the mycelium, mycelium is uh, uninucleated initially, called as primary mycelium. By somatogamy, I have uh, taught you about somatogamy, which is a part of the uh, sexual reproduction methodology. Somatogamy, it forms a secondary mycelium. Okay, and then it develops a floating body called basidiomata, which is a tertiary mycelium. So, what do you see here? Basically, the mycelium is branched and has a very well developed septum called dolipore septum. I have told you about dolipore septum where there is a parenthesome and a covering, okay, which is uh, a regulated uh, cytoplasmic flow will be there from one cell to another. Okay, and um, this whatever uh, signified here is a diagrammatic here. This is the primary mycelium which is uninucleated. Two different primary mycelia fused together, somatogamy, and then uh, the two nuclei will lie in the mycelium now called a secondary mycelium. Secondary mycelium, the cell will give rise to a basidium in which the two nuclei will be there. Uh, this called as a basidium matter, which is giving or uh, giving rise to basidium spores in future. So primary, secondary, and tertiary mycelium. This one is called tertiary mycelium. It's a key character of basidium mycetes class. Coming to the asexual reproduction, so the fungi uh, asexually reproduces by fragmentation. Okay, you can see that a fragmented mycelium will uh, keep growing, but it has to become a secondary mycelium for further uh, production of the floating body. Okay, coming to the same concept here, bisexual reproduction, primary mycelium, somatogamy process becomes a secondary mycelium and then gives us to basidium. The basidium will have two haploid nuclei. They will fuse to become, uh, of course, uh, by karyogamy, uh, becoming a diploid and again by meiosis, it forms four and then four basidiospores are formed. Please remember in ascomycetes it is different. There are eight ascospores formed. In basidiomyces there are four basidiospores formed, but that is externally formed with the help of a sterigmata. Okay. In continuation with this, we will study the life cycle of the agaricus, which is making a uh, depth of the study a little more. You will understand the concept here. So this is a primary mycelium which is represented, followed by uh, somatogamy, which is seen two different nuclei fuse and this is a secondary mycelium where uh, the basidium is formed karyogamy occurs fusion of the nucleus by meiosis it forms four haploid nuclei in the basidium and this uh, four haploid nuclei lie in the vesicular basidium structure 
Sharigmata will develop. Okay, and each nuclei enters one on Sharigmata and forms a basidiospore. Right? These basidiospores are dispersed, and each basidiospore will germinate into a new mycelium. And by mitotic division, it forms many nuclei. Imagine every such a basidiospore will produce different types of primary mycelium, which is observed here. They undergo somatogamy and become a secondary mycelium once again. The secondary mycelium will develop a tertiary mycelium where it can develop into a fungus like this. So, what do you see here? The secondary mycelium is giving rise to a stipe. All are secondary mycelium structures. All are secondary mycelium structures. From secondary mycelium, it enlarges like this. It forms a stipe, it forms an annulus, it forms a pileus, and gills are present. In the gills, which is called the uh, secondary mycelium, of course, in, in the gill region only, a hymenium will develop. Okay, a hymenium will develop, infoldings will develop. From where the basidia will be formed. And from the basidia, fertile spores are released. So, you come across the primary mycelium, second, somatogamy, secondary mycelium, basidium. Uh, of course, ca you can find the karyogamy, meiosis and all. Four basidiospores are formed. They germinate to form again primary mycelia. They, by somatogamy, secondary mycelia. Secondary mycelia can develop a fruiting body like this, which is called the button mushroom which is divided into three parts, mainly stipe, annulus and pileus. Pileus is an umbrella shaped structure. You can find ventrally the gills. The gills will give rise to hymenium with basidiospores formation. These basidiospores again germinate like this, forms a primary mycelium and goes on. The cycle goes on. Okay. So agaricus is said to be a very important, economically important uh, uh, fungus. Okay. This is very commonly asked in the examination where they expect you to explain the life cycle of agaricus. I think you got the concept. Basidiospores are formed in basidiomycetes. Do not forget the terminologies. Primary mycelium, secondary mycelium, basidium, basidiospores, with, of course with serigmata and uh, the secondary mycelium giving rise to the fruiting body which is umbrella shaped. Hymenium gives rise to basidious pores and the cycle continues. Coming to the next one, that is a study of Fusarium. Fusarium is said to be a soil saprophyte. Degradation is very common in uh, concept by uh, brought by Fusarium. It's also called a facultative parasite because it infects plants. And as a biodegrader, as a saprophyte, it will rot the leaf, fruits, vegetables, and all. It causes dry rot of potato tubers, soft rot of rhizomes like ginger and all. So, it's a facultative parasite. Please remember, Fusarium belongs to the Deuteromycetes class. Okay, Deuteromycetes class will not have sexual reproduction. Only asexual reproduction is absurd in this. It's an imperfect fungus. Other name is imperfect fungi. Okay, there can be a question asked. Explain about an imperfect fungi. You should write about Fusarium because that is what you study in your type studies. We have a lot of Retromyces fungus, Alternaria, Sarcospora, Cladosporium, Trichoderma, all of them come under this. Uh, and very easily isolated uh, isolations can be done in the lab. Not only Fusarium, all the Retromyces can be isolated. Coming to the classification, division Emastigomycota, subdivision Deuteromycotina, class Deuteromycetes, Order, Moniliales, Family, Tuberculariaceae, Genus, Fusarium, Species, Fusarium, Oxysporum, and Fusarium Lycoperci. Uh, because it's a final type study, let me tell you how to remember in the examination. First, write the class. You will know the name of the fungi. Remember the class. Class, you write first, Deuteromycetes. Once you know this, you can write Deuteromycotina. And you all know that whatever you are studying in the type studies, all of them belong to M. astigomycota. What is the meaning of Emastigomycota? They produce non motile spores. Okay. Order Monilials, family Tuberculariaceae, genus Fusarium. And of course, species you should write Oxysporum like that. Okay. Coming to the next uh, slide, which tells you about the mycelium. Mycelium is branched, septate, okay, and uh, pink or yellowish white cotton. It is a very key characteristic in uh, this particular fungus. So, I will just go back to your practical. Uh, uh, part of study, Fusarium will give white cottony growth in the medium. 
go back to the aspergillus and penicillium aspergillus is called black mold it goes with black colonies penicillium with green colonies blue green colonies mainly green colonies okay and uh, rhizopus is again cottony just like fusarium but rhizopus will raise up and give a lot of blackheads which is nothing but the uh, sporangium here they don't find sporangium just white mycelium will be there which can be little pinkish tinge or yellowish tinge will be present in the colonies just like a white cotton it will appear on the plate asexual reproduction is by formation of macroconidia and microconidia so here you can see the mycelium is cylindrical septate okay giving us a very short conidia force in this whenever you mount it you uh, sometimes you, very rarely you can get it when it's when the culture is very young other most of times you will only see these floating microconidia and macroconidia you must observe the key characteristics for identification remember white cottony remember macroconidia which are sickle shaped or crescent like moon no uh, moon uh, crescent uh, moon shaped structure you can find or a farmer's sickle that shape you can find it okay microconidia are small conidia pores with uh, just uh, uh, not uh, three to five celled like this it will be only uh, non septate sometimes only one septa can be present in this this is a very key, uh, key characteristics so i'll come back to the asexual reproduction the mycelium gives us a con short conidia pore then it extends into a whorl of conidia like this okay this is a key characteristic sickle shaped nature similarly alternaria is different it will be one behind the other that's a, each one has a different characteristics okay so uh, that is one thing what you have to remember in this particular slide macroconidia means many celled microconidia means it is not septate sometimes only one septa can be present this is a picture of what is the meaning of sporodochium so here you can see the same structures whatever we have shown here but you can see that the mycelium is extensively branched and uh, uh present uh, very closely arranged like this uh, such a type of fructifications uh, in our mycology is called as porodochium there can be a question on what is porodochium that's why i've just tried to explain this to you here okay it gives this porodochium is a, a tuft of mycelium branched and a conidia force a short conidia force with uh, macroconidia whorl of whorl means like a flower okay whorl of conidia and each conidia is a uh, crescent shaped or sickle shaped Show on this, and yeah, remember, under unfavorable conditions they remain like this. Under favorable conditions, they'll sprout like a mycelium. Okay, and uh, germination will occur. Imagine this is a, a conidia, and has given rise to mycelium, new one like this. Okay, and here you can see that uh, this, this one way of uh, asexual reproduction. Another methodology is called as plamidospores. I've already told you this basics. when under unfavorable conditions the vegetative cells are vegetative cells the vegetative cells will get reduced and gets rounded off and all the cytoplasmic contents get reduced and store in the chlamydospores this chlamydospores will be uh, like uh, dormant in uh, adverse conditions whenever favorable conditions come they'll germinate like this once again giving rise to new mycelium same characteristic feature okay they can be present intercalary in the center or they can be present terminally sometimes when you leave the fusarium culture for a long time and the refrigerator and then you try to mount it you can get these structures uh, you can see them okay and uh, all of you should remember that this is a imperfect fungi why because there is no sexual reproduction seen in this so all the deuteromyces fungus will lack the sexual reproduction very important one more question they will ask what is imperfect fungus you should have been right <coughs> finally these fusarium is said to be having importance in causing uh, wilting of disease wilting disease what is wilting the plant gets dried up with no water conduction why because they will block the xylem vessel see the xylem vessels are becoming distorted and collapsed isn't it what happens is the enter the roots the fungi enters the roots proliferates and enters the xylem vessels and there's a ring of disordered vessels in the secondary xylem here okay this is step of a symptom is very important because uh, farmers will lose many crops like you know cotton tobacco which is economically important pigeon pea arhar that is then tomato banana sugarcane coffee so these all crops can get infected whenever they see a symptom of dryness wilting okay that means there is no water conduction xylem is blocked because of the production of fusaric acid and lyco uh, lycomarasmin the the physiology is enhanced 
so that the plant cannot uh, survive anymore the plant will lose will not be able to do water conduction transpiration is not possible and uh, what happens is it blocks it and uh, there's no water conduction actually because of that drying of leaves is the main symptom wilting of leaves when leaves are dried there is no photosynthesis and the crops are gone isn't it so that's why one should be very aware of this type of a uh, infection fusarium is a saprophyte in the soil enters into the plant becomes a parasite that's why it's called as facultative parasite expect such questions what is facultative parasite what is uh, saprophyte like such questions can be asked you know and what is fusaric acid proceed with fusarium so these are some of the like you know importance uh, about the fusarium okay i think with this concepts one uh, has understood what is the uh, importance of uh, one of the economically important agaricus and other one is fusarium and actually there are uh, uh, there is a work done on fusarium other than these also they have uh, um, uh, grown fusarium on a particular species of fusarium which can be uh, as a tuft of mycelium that's porodocium what we consider and uh, it's a edible type of fusarium species okay which uh, in cftri they have worked upon this they have called it as you know uh, something like equal to meat okay it's a veg vegetarian meat like that okay so let's uh, see if we can um, meet again for the next sessions uh, we'll be learning mycology is done with this okay we have learned uh, the ba various uh, basics of mycology the types of uh, type studies please learn all these uh, in these fungi one of them will come for 10 marks question short questions for 5 marks can come explain the haplobiontic life cycle of in yeast explain the diplobiontic life cycle in yeast or they can ask sexual reproduction in penicillium if you see the old question papers you can get an idea and uh, coming to the classification part they can be uh, leaving the amastigomycota mastigomycota and all they can just give you one or two marks questions from them do no, no need to go in depth to there okay because your syllabus of uh, bcu whatever we have will be uh, according to that one so please remember anyway you should you need to be strong in the study what is eo septa what is uh, distro septa what is pseudo septa these are septa related what is cynocytic okay of course branch mycelium you know the character that's different but mostly they will ask explain the mycelium means structure and reproduction in a particular fungus maybe penicillium maybe aspergillus please remember what is the fruiting bodies of different organisms okay and after that i think next we will be meeting for the uh, studies about uh, bacteriology uh, i'll be uh, mainly the, uh, talking about uh, the last part of bacteriology that is the uh, cytoplasmic inclusions okay after that uh, we will uh, go with the burgess manual part of burgess manual and what's the criteria for classification of the bacteria hmm? so uh, as we know uh, we have this uh, coronavirus infection please stay at home safely thank you